Welcome back to a Faster PC live support. I know you've been waiting all week for this show. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. Get excited. This time, this is exciting. We're actually going to be helping people resolve their computer problems. We may help you resolve your computer problems. So give us a call, 772-340-1590, 772-340-1590. Or you can head over to our Facebook or YouTube video. Either go to Facebook, search for a faster PC. We have almost 23,000 likes. Go to YouTube. YouTube channel is kind of new. And uh, we don't have as many likes over there, but get over there and you can watch the show there as well. Or you can head to our, our website at fasterpc.com. We have links to both our Facebook page and our YouTube channel where you can watch this show in its entirety. And you know what? If you're driving down the road, you're doing other things, you're not able to watch right now, you'll be able to watch the show in its entirety at your convenience after the show is over. So, you know, but if we, if you have a computer question, if you have a computer problem, if something's not working, now is your chance to get the, your problem solved for free. Give us a call, 772-340-1590, and let's see whether we can help you on this show resolve your computer problem. Also, we do have technicians that are standing by in the shop ready to resolve computer problems. And we'll be there today until 2, but you don't have to wait until then. Remember, computer problems? You need a faster PC. One of the things that we did want to go over here today is we wanted to go over um, the uh, major, major threat. And this is a threat that affects most computers today. So if you have a Windows-based computer, or you have a Mac-based computer, uh, this is something that you will definitely want to pay attention to because there's a major threat that affects programs that I can guarantee you, if you have a Windows-based computer or a Mac-based computer, I guarantee you that you have some of these programs on your computer, and these are... These are programs that definitely you, uh, you'll want to make sure that you're taking uh, care of this, that you're taking the necessary steps to protect yourself because this threat is a threat that is so severe out of, out of a rating from zero being, uh, being not severe at all to 10 being highly severe, the most severe rating, Google rated this a 10 out of 10 and you might ask well why would google rate this a 10 out of 10 i uh, you would think maybe that they wouldn't even be involved in security ratings but this rating does include does include google software um, google chrome for it uh, to be specific it also it also affects other browsers though and and other programs so it is highly important if you have a Google, if you use Google Chrome, but also we'll list the other, the other programs that are affected. Uh, there's a password management program called 1Password. By the way, that's not the password management program that we use here at a faster PC, but 1Password is, is one of those. Also Signal, Safari, which is the default browser on Macs, Microsoft, or excuse me, Mozilla Firefox. And I use Mozilla Firefox. I'm streaming this show to Facebook and YouTube right now through Mozilla Firefox, also through OBS Studio. Uh, but Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, which is the default browser uh, on every new computer, unless you've changed it, uh, that's the default. You also have, in addition to Microsoft Edge, you have Opera, which is another, another um, browser. Also, native Android web browsers. So, on your smartphone, if you have a Google, if you have a Google um, uh, Android phone or tablet, um, this would affect the the uh, the browser in those as well, and more. There's more software affected with this. The <coughs> The, the particular component of the software that makes that causes this 
this issue or this vulnerability is actually libweb p p i s so l i b w e b p i s and uh, this software is a component of these these software programs and perhaps other software programs as well and so we're going to we're going to talk about this we're going to talk about why this is you know how this how this actually works we're not going to get really really technical um, about this because I know uh, some of you out there you know you're not going to understand the technical side of it but we are going to explain this in layman's terms so that you can you can kind of understand the severity of this but uh, this newly uh, discovered vulnerability is officially designated as CVE dash 2023 dash 5129 so if you look at the code of that, this is actually, we're actually over 5,100 um, security threats detected and, and assigned a, an official number this year. So that's a high, high ratio. <clears throat> so this, this actually enables bad actors to execute unauthorized commands or access sensitive data by using maliciously created pages. And this is something that we see happening. By the way, there are malicious, there's malicious software that's out there right now that's trying to take advantage of you. And when you get to that page, sometimes it's even, we've even seen malicious, uh, we've even seen ads that are infected that launch malicious code. And we have seen this on even Microsoft's start page. We've seen it on, on major websites, um, you know, where we go to a website just to, just to test. In fact, you just open up Microsoft Edge. We've seen brand new uh, installs, clean installs of Windows with Microsoft Edge. We load up Microsoft Edge. It loads up after it asks you, you know, if you and they try to get you to log in to Microsoft Edge so that, you know, they can... They can, uh, you know, there, there's some benefits to that where it will keep your, 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 you know, if you save passwords, we never recommend saving passwords to a browser. But if you do save passwords to a browser, if you have favorites or bookmarks, it'll save all of that. Um, and of course, Microsoft's also going to know more about you. So they're going to be able to provide targeted ads when you search. Um, you know, so if you, whether you do that or not do that, that, that kind of shows up up there uh, right when you first open up open up edge for the first time they also want to make your browsing experience better which means that they're going to track you and they're going to provide you with with um, targeted ads and so that's better you know it's questionable who it's better for whether it's better for you it's definitely better for them but anyway um, you you get to a new tab after all of that and and that new tab is going to load their start page. And that start page by default is going to have ads. And some of those ads may be um, actually hosted on a server that's infected. And when a server is infected, the server will start to try to infect the files on the server, including the images. So it's possible for that image in the ad to actually be, to, you know, what we're talking about is a picture. We're talking about a picture of an ad. Um, it's possible for that image to be, to be infected. And so, so this is something that, that definitely it's possible even on major websites that are, that are trusted and known, it's possible even to have malicious content on there. So this actually takes advantage and again, runs, um, runs malicious code without, without your having to do anything. And, you know, you're saying, okay, I want this code to run. So this is this is pretty big. It's a ma it's major. Google again is is ranking at 10 out of 10 as far as vulnerabilities. So so um, you know really what what's necessary to address this threat though. Um, again, this threat is going to impact the following programs and even more programs than this. One Password, Signal, Safari, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge. Opera and native Android web browsers 
and and even more. So it's urgent when threats like this come out that you actually uh, take take action and and mitigate this as quickly as possible. So so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to actually switch over on the live video that's being streamed right now on Facebook and YouTube. I'm going to switch over to my full screen and I'm going to demonstrate. I'll verbally describe this as well because I know that it's uh, many of you are listening on the radio on WPSL 1590 AM and WCNO 89.9 FM. And we have listeners all over the Treasure Coast in South Florida, going up even into Central Florida, a little bit to the west and, and even up onto the Space Coast. People listening to us this morning on those radio stations. And by the way, you can always listen to us wherever you are on the TuneIn app or you can watch us on, on YouTube and Facebook. Um, our YouTube and Facebook video. And if you're missing this, maybe you're listening on the radio, maybe you're even driving on the road, we do not encourage you to watch a Faster PC radio while you are driving down the road. But you can do so later. Uh, the, these videos, right after the show's over, these videos will be able be available to watch probably about a minute or two after the show's over. You'll be able to watch it in its in its entirety. And we actually, throughout the week, will will put out segments of the show, including this. This will be in a. You'll be able to watch this on Facebook and YouTube, and just this segment. Um, so, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to actually, I'll again verbally describe this if you're listening on the radio, but if you want to actually watch, you can watch. So one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to definitely uh, install Windows updates. So you can do this by clicking on the Start button. Now, I'm using Windows 11, so my Start button is going to be maybe a little bit different than your Start button, but I'm going to click on the Start button, and then I'm going to go up to to uh, utilities here and um, now you're going to actually look for a gear by default this is just going to be out here in the start start menu i've actually put it into a group that i named utilities but i'm going to click on settings now if you have windows 10 over in the lower left uh, hand column you'll have that windows windows icon it looks like a four pane window and uh, in windows 10 it's on a little bit of an angle and when you click on that, you'll see a cog or a gear, which is the settings icon. So here we're going to actually go and we're going to run Windows Updates. So Windows Updates is going to install Windows Updates, but it's also going to install updates for other other software, including including uh, Windows and including uh, in Microsoft Edge. Now you see here that I do have a um, an update preview for Windows 11 that is available and I can click download and install and this will start start uh, start downloading now you can also click turn on uh, updates getting updates as soon as they're available by the way you know this is for non security and fixes you know a lot of times they roll out the security ones even quicker one thing that's interesting um, Microsoft recently has started giving you the option to install install updates whenever um, it makes the least environmental impact which is interesting we'll talk about that a little bit later but you want to actually actually uh, install the the updates as soon as possible this will get you not only your windows software updated but also will get edge updated again you can go out to you can go out to Firefox if you're using Firefox, if you're using Chrome, what you're going to want to search for, you're going to want to search for download Firefox or download Chrome and and uh, or update Firefox or update Chrome. And typically the software will update on a, on a regular basis, you know, when you close it out and open it. But you can do a manual update uh, this way by downloading downloading this uh, update. Also, for those users of ours that have had Windows, that, that have had, have subscribed to our managed services, um, we actually are already taking care of this issue for you. So we have your back if you are a managed services client of a faster PC. We offer this for individuals. We offer it for businesses. We offer it for home offices. So um, 
and what we're doing is we're actually searching twice a day for Windows updates six times a day about every four hours we're searching for updates to Chrome and Firefox and other programs on the computer so we'll talk more about that coming up you're listening to a faster PC and radio heard on this station every Saturday in the 10 o'clock hour we're gonna take a quick break but we'll be right back for the final segment of today's show listen if you want to get your computer questions answered and you haven't called in now is your opportunity in fact, this is your last opportunity coming up, 772-340-1590, 772-340-1590. You can also head over to our Facebook page, and you can actually, from the Facebook page, you can type your computer questions into the comment section of the live video, and we'll cover them on today's show. But you know what? You've got to get over there right now or give us a call 772-340-1590 so we can answer your computer questions computer problems you need a faster pc a faster pc has been here and as florida begins to open for business the faster pc will remain open to repair computers nine to five monday through friday and nine to two saturdays we offer curbside drop-off and pickup and on-site service where a faster pc can come to you and we can fix many computer problems remotely without requiring any in-person contact a faster pc is also working to help our customers set up remote access so that employees can continue to work and be productive from home computer problems you need a faster PC. A faster PC is conveniently located at 7190 South US 1 next to the new Dollar General in Port St. Lucie and on the web at www.afasterpc.com. That's www.afasterpc.com. For more information, call 878-5978. Again, that's 772-878-5978. Even in times like these, when you have computer problems, you need a faster PC. This is Brian Longworth, host of A Faster PC Radio, where we answer your computer questions for free every Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. But it gets even better than that. Now, wait a minute. How could it possibly get any better than that? Yes, Cliff. A Faster PC has technicians standing by every Saturday ready to work on your computer. Wait a minute. Technicians standing by on a Saturday? Well, Cliff, A Faster PC has technicians standing by Monday through Friday for standard and emergency service, both in shop and on site. That means you can bring your computer to A Faster PC or A Faster Faster PC can come to you. And if you need computer service in a hurry, we offer emergency service both in shop and on site. We can handle anything from software installs, viruses, spyware, to multi site VPN networking. Computer problems? You need a Faster PC. A Faster PC, conveniently located at 7186 South US 1, Port St. Lucie, and on the web at afasterpc.com. For more information, call 878 5978. 878 5978. Computer problems? You need a Faster PC. Welcome back to a Faster PC Radio. This is the last segment of today's show. We'd love to answer your computer questions, but if you don't call, we can't answer. Give us a call. The number to have your computer question answered is 772-340-1590. 772-340-1590. Or you can hop on over to our Facebook page a faster PC and actually from there you can type your question into the comment section so again just a few more minutes to answer your questions we did want to remind you also that not only can you ask your questions at the Facebook page or by calling 772-340-1590 but you can also watch the video as well so some of the questions that I'm answering as I answer those questions, I'll be able actually to show you the steps that you go through to resolve computer problems. And if you're not where you can watch it right now, that's fine. You can watch it at your convenience shortly after the show's over. It'll be up there on our Facebook page. You can get there one of two ways. Either go to our website, afasterpc.com. We have a link that says listen to a faster PC radio. If you click on that, it'll take you to our Facebook page or go to Facebook and search for a faster PC. We also wanted to remind you that in the shop we have technicians standing by today to work on computers and resolve computer problems. We're at 7190 South US 1 and our number in the office is 772-878-5978. And of course 
we're here to answer your questions. Well, your computer questions, and you know, we could answer other questions, but we're here specifically to answer computer questions. Computer problems? You need a faster PC. That's right, you do need a faster PC. We're here, we're ready to answer your questions, ready to help you resolve your computer and technical problems as well. And of course, if you have a question, it could be on the topic that we're talking about right now, or it could be on a different topic. That is fine. We will segue to your topic if if you, uh, in fact, that's one of the reasons I talked about what we just talked about, this new latest security threat that is out there. This is a CVE, which is an abbreviation, an acronym that stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. And each of these have a rating on how severe they are, how important they are to be addressed. And actually, one of the things with this particular one that we have been going over, and that is CSV 2023-5129. So it's the 5129th um, vulnerability that has come out this month and and this is something that that definitely you want to you want to take and take note of and and make sure that you are are uh, learning about this uh, because and and make sure that you're taking the appropriate steps so we did go over in the last segment how to install windows updates and let me just check my my Windows update. It looks like uh, it looks like it's still downloading uh, that that update. Let me let me switch back over to a full screen to show you to show you that uh, that progress. So we'll go back to settings, and you see that my uh, this cumulative update preview for Windows 11 um, is is actually still downloading. It's at seven seven percent. Uh, downloading. So once it's downloaded, it will install. It'll prompt me to restart, and I'll have the option of restarting then or later. We do, as I mentioned, with our managed services plans. Um, whether you have a, you know, a personal computer that you use for your own own self, or whether you're a small office, a home office that works in your house, whether you have a small office in in an actual you know, retail store, retail space, or doctor's office, or dental office, something like that. Or maybe you're a, you're a larger company where you have you have multiple computers. We have clients that that you know you might even have multiple sites. We actually help our our clients with this with managed services, and managed services includes uh, you know can include remote support. It can include in-shop labor. It can can include on-site, depending on the plan that you sign up, where we actually can come to you, to your location, to to help you resolve your computer and technical issues. And in addition to that, we can actually go and look at, um, you know, we, we actually do provide uh, cybersecurity, compliance, and, and other things. But even just our base package, uh, will will actually provide you with with certain automations that happen, and these automations actually look for updates to Microsoft Windows and the various other Microsoft software twice a day, right around noon and right around midnight. So if your computer is on during those times, we'll actually automate searching for those updates. We also, in addition, are searching for updates to to several programs out there that you might have on your computer. There's a good chance you have these, these programs on your computer. And what these are is Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Zoom, which is a big, big program that's used. There's a version of, of Adobe Reader that we're looking at, at updating. Uh, there's also 7-Zip, the, the compression, compression software. So, so there's various uh, programs that we can actually, we're, we're actually looking at, at updating, and we're looking at updating those every, uh, about every six hours. So, so, or excuse me, about every four hours. So six times a day, uh, right, right at about 
about every four hours, we're looking for updates to those programs. And this way, you know, if, if you were a managed services client, um, you know, it wouldn't matter whether you knew about this, this uh, uh, vulnerability or not, because what would happen is your computer would automatically get the, get the update and, and have it installed. That would, that would close the hole before you even know about it. Um, as soon as the update's available, within no, no more than four hours, and by the way, we're also, uh, we also run scripts that, that search for updates to the Windows security program that's built into Windows uh, on, on every hour. So every hour that's being updated, um, every, every four hours on, on average, your, uh, your browsers and, and some other programs are being, being updated. And then also every uh, twice a day, Windows, searching for Windows updates. So, and some of these updates are security related updates. Some of them, you know, they're just, just updates to programs, but some of them are security related updates. So, uh, you know, this is why our customers that are, uh, that are um, managed services clients don't even need to go and check on this. They don't need to say, hey, uh, you know, give us a call and say, hey, I want to make sure. And by the way, if you are out there and you're not a managed services client, we could add you to that to that list of managed services clients, or we could log into your computers and you could pay us for the time to update them. But you know, it's even better to just have them updated on a regular basis. If you have them updated on a regular basis through our managed services uh, program, that's, uh, you know, that, 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 that takes, takes care of it. I mean, you don't have to be out there, you know, reading, reading technical bulletins to see, see what security threats are out there. You see, here's what happens with these security uh, threats. What happens is they're discovered one of two ways. Well, maybe one of three ways. So either, either the, the company that provides the software or the hardware finds out that there's a problem, um, you know, either through their own um, investigation or maybe a, um, a user, one of their, their users reports a problem to them and they start looking into it and they see, wow, we have an issue here. And some of those issues are just technical where the program doesn't work quite, quite like it should. Maybe there's a glitch in it. Maybe the, you, know, you have a problem logging in. Um, all of these types of problems are problems that need to be addressed. Well, um, but some of them are security issues. And sometimes those are discovered by the company or maybe one of the users of the company. And then the, they report it to the company and the company comes out with, you know, with, discovers what's happening and then comes out with a patch uh, for that. There's also security companies that want to make a name for themselves and want people to say, want to be able to say, hey, listen, we found this security vulnerability and we notified the proper authorities and it became, uh, you know, uh, be became a patch, an official patch that was taken care of before anyone actually was affected by it. And then there's what's called zero day threats. So the zero day threats are the most severe, the most urgent to get protected because uh, uh, get protected against to patch your your software or your hardware because these zero day threats what they are is where a hacker finds or a hacker group finds a security security hole a vulnerability and they don't they're not going to go to the company and say hey listen we found this security vulnerability we want you to know about it so you can create a patch so that you can then release it and so that people will be protected no hackers want to use that security vulnerability to get into your system to to breach your system and your security and by the way these these uh, security holes exist in every software program on your computer including your operating system Regardless of whether you have a Windows-based computer, a Mac-based computer, or a Linux-based computer, your, your computer has vulnerabilities built into it. And the programs installed have vulnerabilities uh, built into them. And those are unknown until they become known. And again, they're going to become known either by the company, um, maybe through their own research or through, through a user that's going to alert them, uh, or through a security firm or through hackers. And when hackers find the threat, 
they're going to start exploiting it. They're going to go after as many people as possible. And what happens is, is it's discovered that there is this threat and that hackers are using it and, and it's already affecting affecting uh, end users. It's already affecting the users of this, of this product. And you may recall, it might have been maybe six months or nine months ago, but we alerted you on this show that there were there's been at least two of these, one or two of these, uh, that have affected Macintosh computers and iPhones uh, and iPads in the last year. So, and we've we've alerted you on on this show and said, hey, you need to go out if you have one of these devices, go out and get your your device updated. Make sure that you have the 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 updates on on this system so that your computer or your your phone or your iPad is protected. So, and you can even on your on your mobile devices, you can turn on automatic updates just like you can in in Windows as well. So, so um, you know that's when you have a zero day threat, and those those Apple threats were zero day threats. They were threats that were already being exploited by hackers. So when you have a threat like that. The manufacturer comes out with a patch as quickly as possible. By the way, the patch may not be fully tested. You may not know if it works all the way, but it'll at least close that security hole. And if they got something else wrong, they can they can correct that in the next few days and come out with another patch that that uh, not only addresses the security vulnerability but also fixes the problem that may have been caused by the by the patch also. So. It is vitally important to get these patches as soon as 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 you can, especially when it's a zero day threat. And unless you're going to be uh, out there, you know, trying to monitor all the different C, uh, CVEs that are that are um, that are issued out there, um, unless you're going to be the one that that's out there uh, reporting, you know, looking at these and seeing does this impact me is this something that that i need to to look at and unless you're going to be looking at those all the time and by the way you're not even going to be noticing um, you're not even going to be noticing uh, that there's a, a threat out there for something that's not known yet you're just going to be able to you're just going to have to uh you know you're not going to find out about that until the patch is released but before the patch is released um wouldn't it be great to have software that's running on your computer uh, that that's looking for updates and as soon as that update's available um, really shortly after that have that automatically installed on your computer we also have additional software that's a part of our cybersecurity stack and uh, and we have this which actually is zero trust software that actually protects against unknown unknown threats because even even if the threat isn't known yet um, it protects and and in that it allows what you need to use on your computer and by default blocks everything else and we can configure that so that if you know there's something else that you need to allow we can go in there and make that happen but we want to do that in a way that keeps your computer safe so if you're interested in any of that, our number is 772-878-5978. And we're coming to the end of today's show. But if you've missed any part of this show or just want to listen to it again or watch it again, because you can do that at our Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can not only hear the show, but also see the show. And when we've described and shown you how to resolve computer problems, you can actually see that and watch it over and over again at our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. You can get there by going to our website of fasterpc.com and clicking on the links. We're open today until 2 p.m. Monday through Friday, we're open from 9 to 5. And next Saturday, we'll be open from 9 to 2. We want to invite you to listen to our church radio show tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. here on WPSL. The title to tomorrow's sermon is, What is the Solution to the Problems in America Today? 
We need to turn back to God. You can listen to other sermons on our church website, CovenantTabernacle.com, or our church Facebook page, Covenant Tabernacle World Outreach Center. You can find a Faster PC's Facebook page and YouTube channel by searching for a Faster PC on Facebook and YouTube, or by going to our website and clicking on the links. While there, you can actually watch the show, not only hear the show, but also watch the show and see the steps that we go through to actually resolve computer problems. A Faster PC is conveniently located at 7190 South US 1 on the east side of US 1, just north of Rio Mar. We're also on the web at www.afasterpc.com. Again, that's afasterpc.com. And you can reach us at 772-878-5978. Again, 772-878-5978. Computer problems? Don't you know by now you need a faster PC?